All right, so for everybody on uh, YouTube, this is the first ever um, stream takeover. Deathwish cashed in his chips finally. And um, he has requested that we do a full playthrough of Stray. Uh, now, I believe it's going to take probably two or three streams at least um, to get through. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, like I said, his first ever stream takeover. We've got Deathwish. On the uh, on as always to uh, provide the banter, of course, you know it's better, better. It's all uh, you know. De Deathwish is running the show. It's his, it's show, his stream. Show, he's he's show, on the takeover. Stream, stream, stream. He's, he's on the takeover. He's running the show. Takeover, takeover, takeover. What? So, so yeah. you're saying that you're saying this is the game that you haven't you have a hundred percented. That yeah, I, I haven't hundred. I mean, I finished it. I haven't hundred percented it. I think. Hold on. Let me let me just double check how far I am from 100%. Hey, my library is in use by somebody. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I need to I need to shut this clown down. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to see. I've, I've got half. I've got 12 out of 24 achievements. Okay. Uh, and that's just that's just playing through the game. Yeah. And and there there was one I was like I swear, this has got to be an achievement. And I messed. Uh, it, it's a, just a straight up simple one. It only takes a couple seconds. Uh, and I completely screwed it and didn't get it. And turns out when I looked at the achievements on Steam, that was one of them. And I was like I knew it. <laughs> and, and then I will say there. I think I kind of. Uh, try to lead you to that before sort or I was talking about it before there's there's one you, you think is a hundred percent achievement and it turns out it's not okay and, and like why I mean that was a hundred percent no spoilers there you'll know when when you if you do it you'll go what you know, straight up WTF all the way. Uh, how is that not an achievement, but that other thing is? Okay. <laughs> but anyway. All right. So, without further ado, right, let's so jump in. Do, do, do jump in. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. So, what are your expectations? Do you expect it not like this? I don't know. Um, I mean, I've uh, from what I've seen um, in like trailer, a trailer and things before when it first came out, it was kind of like a open world kind of cat puzzle kind of game that involves a bit of parkour. That was my um, initial view on it, but I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So, if that was the case, you're not looking forward to this game. Okay. I mean, is that what you're saying? Like, if that's what you think it is, based on what you just said, the, uh, are, are you, were you kind of like, yeah, I don't want to play this, but. I don't know. You, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't doing that at all. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, as far as, like, I, I want to play it. I don't want to play it, but because it's a stream takeover, uh, you, you know, whether you wanted to or not, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of like, yeah, this is going to suck to have to go through this because I think it's this part four, yada, yada, yada thing. But... All right, so. We can obviously play with the other cats and yeah. fight. Cat no, simulator. You're, you're playing, play fighting. They're all friends. They're all friends, he says. This one, I get the impression, is just going to eat me off the edge, though. <laughs> no. The. Licky, licky. All friends. 
Uh, well, it's a hard, hard day for the cats, clearly. You know, a little bit of play fighting, a little bit of licking, and then it's yep. uh, curl, go to curl sleep, up on yeah. the box and go to sleep. Yeah, that's a hard day. You, you missed the part where uh, they climbed up the mountainside, got, <laughs> got food and everything else, and they just got back after a 10 hour uh, venture. Collected all the strawberries on the way. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> Acorns. Yeah, I wish I could have sound on. Might be able to sort that for you in a minute. Give us a sec. Inside the wall. That's an area. Are you using controller or keyboard? Uh, controller. Yeah, I'd, I'd say uh, even myself. I mean, I play with keyboard and mouse, and it's fine. No big deal. Uh, I just like, I've, when I when I booted it up earlier on, just to make sure everything was all right, it was um, it just said it, oh, I would recommend to use controller for the best experience. So yeah, yeah, I knew exactly what you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, let me get my uh, Xbox 360 controller out. Um, Cause yeah, but I started playing it. And I'm like, well, okay, nah, I'll just stick with keyboard and mouse. There you go. I might give you some game audio. Alrighty then. Nice. We finally did some magic. Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, because the, the audio in this game is fantastic. Okay, so I don't have... I guess I don't have the ability to jump on demand like a meow on demand that's cool that's pretty cool yeah that's how you talk to each other <laughs> okay yeah okay, so. it'll be a, it'll, it'll, yeah I mean it'll save a few things obviously this is obviously purely a tutorial kind of yeah just for movements and what kind of things you'll come come against like yeah jumping up on stuff walking on pipes yada yada, yada, yada where are the yada, buttons yada. though do what where are them buttons Walking around pushing buttons? No, nope. of course. Not in here. No walking around pushing buttons. That's why this game is so unique. Oh, there, there are buttons. Actually, <laughs> but I'll say technically it doesn't count. Okay. Even though anybody could easily, that there's the game, can defeat that argument. Because <laughs> it's not a very good one. <laughs> Alright, we can scratch our claws. Yep. Just tap, tap fast. Even unlocked. You. Broke your claws. 
That, that cat's got the sharpest claws on the planet, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Right, so it seems I get the impression that, like, the... When I meow, the cats can kind of, like, just follow me or they come to me kind of thing, so... It's yeah, pretty you're neat. Yeah, impressions. You're definitely gonna have impressions. Uh... I'm not going to say that you're completely wrong or completely right or anything, but in this case, there's only, uh, this is literally black and white. It's either you're wrong or right. <laughs> no, what, what about, what, what about assumptions when we assume? Well, when you assume, you grow mushrooms. Hey, I got prints because I walked through the water that's pretty neat detail yeah if you don't have your it should be turned all the way up but yeah I mean the game looks I think fantastic it's nothing new it's not like but just the art the art design and stuff uh, I think it's uh, really good yes yeah, the um I did notice it's this, I know obviously the same developers, but it's the same publisher that published um, Outer Wilds as well. Yep. So they uh, yeah, seem that, to have. That's, yeah, so I found the game. They seem to um, have quite a lot of um, good games on their uh, books. Yeah, they're not trying to go EA. If I remember rightly, I, I did watch some stuff like around the the publisher, and I think. Isn't the publisher something to do with the guy who was in, uh, he was in Heroes. The guy who was actually called Hero in Heroes. I don't know if you ever watched Heroes at all. But I'm sure he's got something to do with this publishing um, house as well, which is pretty neat. Yeah. No idea, but uh, from what I've seen, yeah, they, they, they definitely strive to put out good content and not like beta you know here give us 30 bucks to start playing our game and tell us how to make it enjoyable for three years and then it never comes out of Wish beta <laughs> or pay us money every year for the same game reskinned you know yeah uh, well it works so they're going to keep doing it because dumb asses keep paying the money why, why does that say human personnel only? What are the sort of personnel is there other than humans? Well, uh... Cats. And, and, cats can't and other, read. And other stuff. There's, uh, there's, every, there's something besides humans and cats, too. So. The ecosystem right. would not survive with... Only two species of something. And you want to go around and do it again? You had so much fun. <laughs> I just like exploring. I mean, clearly there yeah. was, clearly there was two different ways to go. I took the high road. I could have taken the low road. So, but either way, there's uh, obviously the the tutorials are there in place to teach you what you need to know, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's quite nice that they give you that sort of option to explore in your own free will. They're not sort of forcing you down a certain path. It is very much go okay. whichever way you want. We're not going to punish you. You're not going to miss anything. Right. Because we thought yeah. about it. So there's definitely places you can go that you'll never go, or places. It's both actually. I mean, it's it's linear. Uh, Linear where yeah. it needs to be. I mean, you know, it's linear, but but there's also a little side, kind of like going in, kind of like going in a uh, maze, like when you you put your pencil on the start line and you start going. And of course, you're looking ahead, and of course, if you look ahead far enough, depending on how uh, how tricky the maze is, you, you just walk your way through it. But you could go off on these side paths, like like in the in the maze, and think you're getting somewhere, and and might, but 
I hope that in, or uh, there was a better choice. I have to say uh, that zoom in uh, so-called observe thing uh, really never used. Oh. I mean, I think personally, unless you're looking at something like afar, a lot of the time you can just get away with like moving the camera. That pipe looks like it's about to break. down like well he's fucked <laughs> <laughs> shit man okay now we're a trio we're the three we're, amigos where when the cat tries to shove its claws in a metal pipe <laughs> yeah that or the you would think he would eat in real life that was fake because <laughs> if there was grass and shit growing on that that cat and that was concrete. That guy would have been solid. I didn't scrutinize the cat physics uh, at all when I played it. So now, now, now I am. Yeah, concrete claws out. That cat stopping. I wonder what was going on there. I just sort of like went black. I was only looking to see if I could see my uh, three amigos, but... No, they were up top. They actually jumped yeah, over yeah. near problem, and you were the wuss that couldn't do it <laughs> fail. So, like, really early on, I can kind of see that... Um, and when I thought there was potentially, like, some parkour and stuff... Um, I mean, early impressions seem like I, I don't think there's too much parkour in the, in the fact that obviously it gives you prompts where you can and can't jump. So, um, yeah, maybe not uh, what yeah. I was totally anticipating. What's going on, Doctress? How you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, Doctress. Doctress Prime. Yes. Stream takeover. I could have I could have used it for some really stupid 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 game that I would have would punch myself in the face for even doing it, but it would punish everybody else too. But now I decided to uh, very lenient. Get, get, give give them a actual fun game. Yeah, I'm doing well, but, thank you very much, Doctress. Thank you for asking. Yeah, man. You too. Thanks. Guess we're gonna follow these creatures through here. Yeah, your instincts from whatever you saw or thought you saw were all wrong. Hundred percent about this game. I would say. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. What's that? Uh, there's no more... Um, seems like OBS, There's because I just got an achievement, but it doesn't seem like... Um, uh, it shows achievements anymore. There's no like option for stream overlay or anything. So... It's weird. Hmm. Oh, not stream overlay, steam overlay, sorry. And speak. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, uh, usually I would see them pop up when but, yeah, yeah. you have to uh, allow that, but, which I never did, and then I started, I, I saw that option, I'm like, oh, well, I'm here. I turned it on, but yeah, it's fine. Hey, okay, we got some 
evil demon rats by the looks of it. It's uh, interesting. Give me a camera. Yeah. I give you a hint. You're not meowing enough. Is that better? Just keep that button in mind. Okay. Uh, time to cash in. Oh, he's cashing in more luck. He's, he's not content with his stream takeover. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that would explain the sign we saw before. There are robots. Yeah, why don't you turn the light off? It's no fair. Human personal only, no trumpets. Help. Interesting. some funny stuff. Okay. Guessing we don't go this way then. It's fine. Yeah, like I said, maze. Uh, it's, it's linear, but it allows you to kind of check things out because sometimes it's not necessarily where you want to go to continue the game, but there may be something worthy of going there, possibly, wherever that may be. Oh, interesting. Every time I meow, the lights flicker and the camera nods. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> there's, um, I'll be honest, there's a lot of robots. Well, you're not a robot. Or are you? Okay. I mean, like, we're not a, like, triple A game. The cow movements, the, the, the movements of the cat and the things uh, are, are pretty, the animations are really good. Yeah. I mean, it's like uh, you're watching an actual cat and how they would poise themselves and do different things yeah I mean it's it's, it's really good I mean it, it, for like a very like slow paced game where there's not a lot happening at, well at the minute at least um, it's not particular I wouldn't say it's like particularly dull to play at the moment it's quite interesting to see the environment and watch the cat like kind of go through the different places that it's going through. Ah, okay. I have an idea. I've got an idea. 
Where that there bucket? You might be on to something. But then again, been a while since I played. Excellent. Okay. I thought that was quite cool. Uh, I don't know. I dare say the cat probably would die. Yes. Yeah, the uh, I didn't do it, but and I don't know if the cat would just be able would would act. You know, I I uh. I would say I didn't try it, so I don't know if the cat actually slides down. So I mean, I would imagine the cat would. Yeah, I, su just, I suppose just because of the um, because you've got like the extra. Um, cat's, cat's got grip. Because you've got like the extra like buttons to confirm some movements. Yeah. Um. So. And we yep. got some uh, repulsion gel. Is it repulsion gel? I can never remember what, which one's which. We've got some blue gel down there. We just need a portal gun. I'm sure we, I'm sure we put some white gel down there as well. We just need some <laughs> We just need a portal gun now, I'll be well away. Do you think the cat yeah, can they, use the portal they, gun? They need to do a mashup of this game and that that would actually uh you'd have to design some new maps, but you can use some of the existing ones and do some changes to to where it would still work that that would be uh pretty freaking awesome <laughs> all righty then yeah i i still love the pushing crap off like the little sideways paw pop 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 bye bye but it's just that like mischievous kind of like cat yeah um <laughs> yeah, the, whatever you're doing, you're on your computer, they'll jump up on the keyboard and be like, pay attention to me. Well, don't worry about your rug. I'm just gonna. There's a few claw marks in it. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> I think we found something. Uh... <laughs> I think we found something. <laughs> <laughs> that that was odd. Yeah, I, I will say. What? That must that must be. Uh, yeah, that's a glitch. That didn't happen to me. But well, I guess you probably didn't try and scratch the carpet from uh, uh, when you were still uh, on top of the bookcase. Oh, you did it while you were. Up yeah, yeah. Up? I was. Um, I was on here, and I saw I, I got the prompt there. Oh, uh, that's why. So I, thought, I thought you just jumped down oh. and... Uh, okay, <laughs> see, I just thought you jumped down and then started. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I like how the, the little the beads you can run through them and move them around. They have, they have bead physics. It's quite interesting. I don't know if that's like somebody trying to like talk to me, but almost like the way somebody's talking and the way the um, the cat's perceiving what's being said is all like a bit jargon. To me, bit, like janky. On my, on my end, it just sounded like a repeated sound, not what I expected to hear. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like that they they let you just be a cat, just goof around. Yeah. <laughs> did did I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I'll be honest, that bag kind of looks a bit heavier than the cat. I'm not sure. 
Um, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. It, 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 it is, but the way it's, uh, the pulley system is, and there's a cantilever mechanism built in to no matter what weight you are, it, it descends at the same rate. Pretty cool. Gotta be done. Oh, they didn't smash. <laughs> Spoiled my fun. Yeah, definitely, Mika. Yeah. Uh. But not said. Mika. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not a hard game. It's, it's about just the atmosphere, the story, uh, being, uh, from the perspective of a cat, which is unusual and seems silly, but it ended up, I mean, it, they did it so well that, uh, doesn't seem weird or anything. Yeah, I'm already kind of quite interested as to like what's gone, what's what's like happening there, and what's going on. It's like cats living in the wild, falls down a shaft into a city that's completely like abandoned, and everybody seems like they're dead, uh, possibly. And then there's a load of robots. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, you're still in the beginning stages, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like you'll, you'll uh, start getting the story and you'll, it'll, I mean, just just what it's presented to you so oh. far through oh. starting to now. Now we've got the uh, Half-Life crossover. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, there is the vibe. And go. I actually got through this without having to fuck off any of them. I was untouched. But I'd say this is the only one. Hey, crazy attack. It's kind of crazy. Welcome, welcome to Deathwish's stream takeover. Yeah, this was the one I chose. I thought chatty. I thought it's fun. It's a good it's a good game. It it looks great. Uh, it's a fun game, I think. I thought Knock would enjoy it, uh, as well as it's it's not hard, and you can choose to do or not to do. So yeah, I mean. I mean, I have a, I have a massive hunch that I've probably just missed a load of stuff, like running through there. Possibly, it's the sort of place that would. Um, I feel like there would be some sort of achievements or some hidden stuff in there, but I might be wrong. Yeah, say no. It's a nice game to play on stream, actually, because with it being sort of like nice and chill itself, it's just like laid back. It's, it's a lot more laid back. Yeah, I mean that's kind of why I suggested it. So it's not like it, nobody's rocking their brain trying to figure yeah. out a, some portal thing. Nobody, you know, it's not a first-person shooter. 
where we're like, oh crap, you know, that, you know, that just a fun, yeah, chill, cool looking game with a pretty, pretty decent story, I think. Of course, you know, everybody have different thoughts on the storyline, but I think it works. Especially uh, by itself now, but with the gameplay and stuff, it, I think it's perfect. Thank you. Jeez. Get off the ledge. Yeah, you tried to buy a Valve? Well, I'm not surprised because uh, and I, the only thing that would surprise me would be that if Valve actually considered it. That would be surprising. E EA, you know, of course, you know, has their own platform. Of course, they want Steam. Uh, I just don't see that happening. But they're not gonna, they're not gonna get it. Gabe isn't gonna sell. Uh, why would he? You know, uh, especially he ain't stupid. He knows what EA is about. Hundred percent about money. Don't care about anything else. Yep. Don't care about the flares. Don't care about anything but money. And even so, yeah, even when you buy an EA game on Steam, when you go to play it, you have to install Origin. So, yeah, uh, it's just that basically Steam just puts the shortcut in your library for to load Origin games. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. EA. EA used to be... When I was growing up, EA was awesome. I mean, they were like... They put out the best games. Uh, they, they actually had good customer service and all that kind of stuff, but... Yeah, but that, I'm not yeah, saying, uh, that, that, could uh, be, that could be said for any any company oh, any, oh, any company sure. had good used to have a good customer service for sure it's but it's the ones to keep it and stay true to their initial oh man yeah no i, I know what you mean I yeah know what you're trying to say yeah uh but yeah they they just completely changed they started putting out media, well, good games that were never really completely finished. Instead of like what they used to do, they used to back in my day they put out a finished game. Period. No updates. You never got an update. There was no such thing. It either had bugs, people, you know, pissed people off, or it was darn good 100 percent i i think i think there's more to it though than just like a simple fact of looking at it from ea um i think in like the grand i've i've like, talked about this before but in the grand scheme of things i think the way the way we play games these days has a lot to say about a company's mentality when it comes to making games and in, in general like back in the days of pre-internet the game had to be solid before it was released because yeah, there was no way there was no way to update games and, and patch games and change games once they'd gone out on disc whereas now with all like the internet and patching and everything it's like uh, it's like okay uh well we need to hit this deadline for this suit for this this like person who's um but the, the big corporates, because, you know, they set the deadlines and we have to meet their deadlines and they, they don't really understand um, how to, uh, how game development works. And uh, it's fine because, you know, even if the game's broken, we'll just, um, we'll fix it and we'll send out a patch on the internet. We will just sell everybody broken shit. And that's yep. basically the way games are these days. Yep, that and... Here, this is not only a, a bug fix, but you're getting a free DLC. 
uh, which the free DLC is just what you were already supposed to get. Or, or, or well, that's, that's, that's any any DLC though, isn't it? It's like you, you take Call of Duty for instance. It's like okay, let's let's design 16 multiplayer maps. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to strip half of them out and then get the players to pay the the, the same amount again for the rest of the game. Yeah. It's um. Well, people keep doing it. That's yeah, then, the problem. That, that is the problem. We 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 do only have ourselves to blame because, you know, we have made it acceptable for these companies to do that to us. Yeah, because people, uh, especially, well, you know, especially young kids and their parents, most of the parents have no clue about the games. Uh or even if they do whatever if they're like i'm no i'm not paying for this or yeah okay you get it's yeah it's it works because people especially the younger kids have no self-control and many people the uh kids that the credit the parents credit card is on their account and they can buy whenever they want which blows yeah. my freaking mind but uh yeah it's you know 